so as we discussed uh, in the previous uh, video uh, the revision is 2 so it's always good to move the latest revision to the production so what we'll do we'll click on it and deploy it to the production so once we deploy it you can see there is no latest revision means uh, every latest changes which have been done has been deployed to the production and the other thing is like uh, the last modified is clearly mentioned over here where you can check that uh, who has modified it so it will be easy for us that when was the last revision and modification uh, has been done to this particular channel uh, you don't need to give a specific comment with your name in the description saying that uh, this has been modified by so and so developer on this particular date so this is a good thing we will see over here so now we are going to learn about other two concept message storage and message pruning so in the message storage we have a lot of options here like uh, the type of data which should be stored so depending upon the slider option here that that will vary so for the production the the content is like raw encoded sent response maps which are really important uh, in real time situations and uh, if we just drag it down a little bit for the raw uh, it's only storing the raw and metadata and if we drag it a little bit more the content is off uh, it's, it's just all about metadata so the more we drag it down the more the performance increases because it's not storing anything so this is a disabled uh, thing so we should we shouldn't always keep it in the development or the production or the different options depending upon the requirement uh, we need to slide it so generally i'll keep it in development uh, for the development purpose so all the content is stored the raw encoded the sent and all the response which are stored but if you keep all your channels in the development the performance of your engine will get decreased so if you are go going into the production again the performance will increase and if you are going down a little bit again the performance increase so you need to understand what is your requirement and what data should be actually stored so when you ask about uh, I just don't know what is raw encoded send response and maps uh, as I already explained in the previous video but I'll just go ahead and show it to you you go to channels and for example I have few channels in the dashboard where the miss are passing so this is one of the channel so I have received one message I'll just go ahead and check over here so this is the raw message this is the encoded message if you are more particular keen this is the sent response which we got uh, this is the response message routed successful to channel so this is all the data which should be stored according to our option over here so the, the more we move it the more we change it the content of the data will be stored less so this is how uh, the message story options helps us to set uh, what data should be stored and what data shouldn't be stored depending upon our requirements so the next topic would be message pruning so as we learned about the message storage and all the data which has been stored what will happen to that particular data after some time who will be handling it or like whether we have the handling capacity or not so that's where the topic message pruning comes so it can be like 1 TB to multiple like uh, thousands of TBs of data which is crossing through Mirth engine and we are storing all the content of it all the metadata of it raw encoded sent and maps which we don't require after a few days so uh, the pruning is nothing but deleting that particular data so store indefinitely means it will keep on storing but if you select prune metadata older than particular days like around 30 days so after 30 days what all the messages have been passing through this particular uh, channel uh, that will get deleted and you might be confused like what is metadata over here again content over here just go over here content is nothing but all the raw encoded uh, sent response maps and when you go to uh, so yeah this is the content and metadata is all all this particular metadata which has been stored in this channel so don't get confused with this uh, this is very simple logic uh, difference between metadata and content you can understand it over here the more you drag the more uh, knowledge you will get over it so it's all about uh, storage and management which we generally use so for my purpose as I am uh, using it in my local and very few messages which are crossing through my channel I'll go with the development and I just want to store everything for my learning purpose all the data and I don't want to delete anything for the future reference I just want all those data so that's how uh, 
the the message storage and message pruning works so I'll just give you an assignment like uh, send send any message uh, to the channel uh, any channel which you have created and just go to the dashboard and try to track that particular message and what is the difference between encoded raw sent and response and what all the response you're getting so it would be a great learning for you to completely understand uh, the message uh, storage and pruning concept thank you